Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jairam, Consultant Family Doctor. Today we are going to discuss very important topic about hypertension and uh, how it is going to impact our health as how we are going to prevent and also deal with the hypertension. So this is the most important topic because why it is so important which we are worried about hypertension. So because the whole India, if you want to take it as a country of 1.3 billion people, among them, if you notice, there are two, if you see 1.63 million people are dying only because of hypertension. So that is a huge data and among them, by 2025, it was predicted that it, uh, India going to be the hypertension prevalence and burden will be 250 million people will get affected because of this hypertension. So such a vast people are going to get affected because of this hypertension. So it is our essential duty and also as a community also it is more important to know how it is going to impact their health and how they need to gain the knowledge about how to tackle this the problem so first important thing is they have done a big study and it has said that in india among 40 percent of the population among the population urban people are affected because of hypertension that is a huge huge numbers actually and 20 percent only in the rural area are affected by the hypertension the second important thing which we came to know so this is something which is a huge people are getting affected in the uh, urban people and uh, doctor why the urban people are affected very much with the hypertension and why not the rural people if you ask the, there are many things which are the causative factors which we should know about the hypertension because there are multifactorial causes for the hypertension so one factor is increasing the age it itself can cause hypertension one second is a genetic factors which from the family it could be a uh, person can get affected with the hypertension this is through genetic and third is overweight and obesity this is more important and fourth is excess salt intake can cause hypertension and not only that we have certain things called exercise low sedentary lifestyle which people are practicing because of the whole world is running towards urbanization and, uh, and following all the things at uh, very ease so they are not working out and people are sitting in front of the chairs and doing all the activities and sitting in front of the computer or in the front of the screen and this factors it itself can cause increase in blood pressure so these are all most common which you see each and every day the hypertension is stepping up each and every day the population is getting affected drastically because of this population and not only that uh, most important risk factors which we call is tobacco smoking tobacco smoking because why does tobacco smoking causes hypertension because it has contained lot of chemicals called nicotine acetone hydrogen cyanide and carbon monoxide all these factors which cause blood vessel to get constricted and automatically it will raise the blood pressure and also uh, less number of exercise here if the person is not doing the activity the automatically the blood pressure will increase and not only that and we have to know about the stress levels because now everywhere because either because of infection or any problems in the family or not only that 
many other factors which all causes stress the workload levels if increases it causes stress immediately the people are getting stress for all every reason so this is important factor which increases the bp so for the long term the person is being stressful then automatically it will impact on the blood pressure so not only that and the upper socio economic status persons who are in the upper socio economic status people are getting affected because of hypertension that was a big study was done and it has proven that there are many people affected in the upper socio economic status as well as in upper middle class family there are many persons are getting affected so these are all the factors which we have to know before about the hypertension because such a global burden the problem is and what impact it has got on our health if the hypertension is going to come and what are the effects it's going to affect on our body we have to know so what effects it will have affect on your body is it affects the brain that is if there is bp shoots up it can affects the brain and cause stroke and it can cause a bleed in the brain it causes cerebral hemorrhage and the second is it can affect the heart and cause coronary artery disease and the heart attack even this has been a global burden among the whole world population 40% is because of the hypertension causing a heart attack this was a big big uh, numbers it has been uh, a big global burden and uh, it has impacted on the heart and causing heart attack so it is very much crucial and not only that and uh, there are other things as far as hypertension because we have seen a lot of persons getting affected each and every day not only that it can cause affect the kidneys as well and uh, which can which can cause a kidney failure at the end stage and also because of this hypertension because it loses protein in the urine and causes lot of effects on the kidney as well so and also i you should not miss because it can affect the fundus the retina blood vessels and it cause cause the damage to the eyes and there are people who has lost the vision because of this high blood pressure as well so these are all the common things which uh, hypertension will impact on our body health and these are all the complications which we commonly talk about if we are talking about the hypertension so not only that and uh, we need to know about the disease per se because hypertension if we are going to talk we see it is there what we see is just a tip of the iceberg and what we have to know is there are a lot of patients lot of people with hypertension which are asymptomatic as well and uh, they are all in the population they are being grooming but there are big business in this industry which i am not going to touch upon that but what is the thing was we have a gaussian curve which we are uh, seeing this average limit 140 90 doctor why this 140 90 the cut off is fixed everybody asked and the answer is that is how everybody statistics will say so among if you take 100 people if you say if 90 people falls in below this range and among the five people will fall out of this range so in the gaussian curve so if you see so this 95% of the people will be in the normal category and the 5% of the people which could be outside of the category then we call it as abnormal so this is what how the gaussian curve is says we take the average of all and then we fix it and uh, we are not uh, in going to uh, uh, have a a big discussion and why uh, this is uh, right or this is wrong about the gaussian curve and all those things there are many debates keeps continuing forever and ever and the cut off keeps changing forever but what is happening if the cut off is getting little bit lower if the 140 or 150 before 150 and become 140 systolic and diastolic if it has become 90 now it has become 80 and uh, there will be a lot bunch of people who become an hypertensive patients will come so for that we should understand if there are a lot of persons are coming but before that we should know is there any important 
thing which has caused damage to our health we should know about it for that you should know how is the your eyes vision how you should check your vision and if the fundus is normal then it's fine and then you have to check your heart because it affects the heart as well and know about the ecg and echo you have to know about how it functions better or not and you should know about the kidneys as well how it is doing well and whether there is any impact on that these are all the common things which you need to look at if you have a blood pressure high blood pressure so this is all the common things which we have to know about that and uh, okay doctor so uh, you say that this is because of this one and uh, what are all the factors which we can do to prevent or without going to the medication i can control my blood pressure can you have some suggestion this was a question which is been asked yes there are many non pharmacological that means without giving any treatment to the people there are things which can be done to control the blood pressure as i have already discussed and i just want to say about it and the diet diet is a most important factor so first increase the green leafy vegetables that is more important and increase the fiber rich diet so that is two important things when there has a direct impact and also add more fruits to your diet so this is a common thing which you if you follow in your diet and your hypertension will be under control so second important thing is is you have to reduce the salt intake per day less than 2400 mg per day of salt is to be consumed and uh, the maximum is this is what you can consume that one and that range should be 4 to 6 g per day you know, that is the total amount of salt intake should be there the whole day and it should not be above it or it should not be below it there are many studies has proven this is what the moderate range of salt intake should be done okay and the third important factor is exercise why exercise causes uh blood pressure to get lower because the blood vessels has got endothelial cells if you do the exercise there is a chance of releasing of nitric oxide from the uh endothelial cells of the blood vessel so whenever you have doing the exercise automatically the blood vessel relaxes so automatically your blood pressure comes down so this is more important if you are thinking of doing exercise that's why everybody stresses to do the exercise for 30 to 45 minutes and it should be aerobic exercise it should not be an aerobic exercise it should be aerobic exercise that you have to do like walking and the jog or swimming this is all the activity you have to follow and the last but not least and cut down on a cut down on stop tobacco smoking and cut down on the alcohol consumption so not more than two drinks per day for the men and women men it should be very much quite very little if the consumption of alcohol should be there so these are all the important tips i want to discuss in uh, hypertension and uh, we will discuss in further in detail if you have any questions or any comments and if you want to further discuss anything else you can leave it in the comments and uh, hope you like this video everyone enjoy it so stay healthy and stay here safe thank you so much if you like this video like share and subscribe the channel thank you so much see you bye bye